Hello, hello, welcome back. It's been a while, yes. This time I really did have my break, and now I feel a lot more refreshing. So, just to sum it up for you, I didn't make a video on the last patch because I realized there was no balance node. I was going to do it, but then I realized there was nothing to talk about. The only thing new is, of course, the uh, Wukong Mythic skin, which, in my opinion, is okay. That's why I didn't want to make a whole video out of it. In this video, we're gonna go through another tier list. Specifically, we're gonna talk about which legend needs skill and which legend doesn't need skill. How are we gonna tell that? Well, let's put it this way. If you compare a legend based on a new player gameplay to that same legend but a very pro player of that specific legend, if the difference is huge, that means that legend has a very high skill gap to master. If the gap is literally non exist, it means that legend doesn't take any skill at all to master. Right, so this is the whole tier list. As you can see, we have no skill, easy to master, average skill, high skill, and very high skill. And we will do it a bit different this time. We go from top down. So starting with very high skill first. So uh, I only put three, technically two uh, characters in this tier for good reason. Now the training bot is very high skill for sure. As for Alice, Alice is definitely not an easy character to master or even to start playing if you pick up alice you will find she's really hard to pull up good support or even to be good on her own so you have to learn a lot of things spacing positioning reading placing your mind timing your old and reaching out to support your teammate when they need you so all of that combined and the flexibility of placing mind in tactical position make alice one of the highest skill character to master in the game next we have brick which i was thinking that he might be just high skill but then i ran into some absolutely out of this world brick gameplay before and i think he deserved to be in a very high skill spot for that reason now if you pick up brick again he might not be easy just like alice you might need to learn a lot where to place his wand when to play his wand which wand to play when to jump when to when to use your old the distance the timing all of that compared with the high gameplay of brick player i have seen they place their wand very strategically that will knock you back and forth or even dunk you with it so brick is also a very high skill to master legends next we have the high skill tier so we have parfait so parfait has a lot of risk when playing therefore you have to do everything right her gameplay is very tight you need to learn positioning spacing when to go in for the ground skill the freeze the support when to charge your ult safely how to use your ult effectively because her ult is not gonna slide it's gonna stay in place gonna help her stall but also she will take damage and exposing herself if she meets her ult all of that combined with the nature of her gameplay being to push support your teammate for damage and crowd control She's definitely deserve to be in high skill section. Next is Gumi. Now you might think I'm biased. Yeah, well, yeah, I am. Of course, I am. I'm a Gumi man. But yeah, compared to a new Gumi player who only do turret and an experienced Gumi player who know all kind of tricks that she can do, and compared to me, like it's a different thing. I depends on mostly muscle memory experience and reflex at this point so that's the only thing that makes it different so she is high skill because of all the potential you can pull off with her 
but not flexible or to the point that I will put her in very high skill. Next, we have Aoi. Now, Aoi, I didn't know much until I start seeing some high level Aoi gameplay, and it's a lot different from a person who only just pick up Aoi like because she is kind of slow and every hit she back there's a delay that she can be punished so you have to time everything correctly you have to read your opponent correctly and then you also need to know the distance you can reach out for your attacks there's no actual true combo that she can do into the old so you do have to bait a lot you have to read a lot and that's what make our high skill legend next we have rapunzel now rapunzel alone with her crown kits it will not be enough to put her in high skill tier but because she also have her arrow gameplay which i think is the best thing about rapunzel and you have to balance out both your ground gameplay and arrow gameplay all the time to create a pressure stun enemy know your distance know when to use the correct attack to reach out to defend yourself in the air all of that combined make her high skill legend next we have goldie now goldie is quite limited when it's come to what she can do but again it's not easy to get to that point of mastering everything that goldie has to offer a new goldie player will be a lot different from an experienced goldie they will know when to use their skill they will know the exact timing to go for the marking and o to get the heal back they can stun drop you they can dunk you repeatedly and they can read your attack next we have victor now victor i was gonna put him in very high skill just because of the fact that his mind is very flexible it can create a lot of interesting combo set up for various situation however recently he was a bit overtuned in my opinion in terms of like damage and range of his explosion make his gameplay overall way easier than it should have been so i think right now he's at most will be in the high skill tier he still can do all of the setup but it's a lot more easier to do so yes next we have nasa now nasa has a unique gameplay and she have been getting moved to support that gameplay a lot more than before i think narsa deserves to be in this tier because controlling narsa is not easy but if you have seen a high level nasa gameplay you will know that they are very accurate with their control their fly their timing even optimize their crowd auto to the fullest and then they also use their own effectively with good control to create situation that would turn the match around next we have cindy now cindy unlike the other character i have mentioned in this tier is in my opinion right is less flexible she always have two options to charge in either with the ground skill or with the air skill and it's all about timing movement and you learn one of her combo long kick and that's it but the thing that bring her to this high skill tier is because of her ult because it's not easy to pull off you need to get the right moment the right angle the right timing and the right read to do a dunk or even to just land her own and effectively help your teammate there's also cool tricks that top cindy player can pull out with the old so i think she belong to this tier next we have nui now nui gameplay is arguably one of the most high risk one to be punished because she doesn't move around a lot she have option to defend herself but you have to learn where to place your ring when to use your light bone to defend yourself read and bait and then out effectively how to move with your speed boost effectively all of that combined will make her a high skill legend to learn now red is the last legend on this tier 
as I mentioned, Red is a special case where you can pick her up as a new player to get into her gameplay. You can get wins out of low elo player. You can get easy kill with Red. And then, but when you stop playing more, you, you explore more things about Red. You know, she can do combo. You know, she can dunk. You realize she can hide her footprint when go invisible. And then you can be flexible with whatever you do with red combo and you need to be fast with the control so even though you don't need all of that to get a win out of red she still has a lot to offer and that's why she belongs to the high skill tier moving down to the average skill starting off with maya maya is fun to play around with and she need a lot of Arming, spacing, and control to be effectively played as because her steering is not as good as let's say Marina or Nasha steering. So you have to have good control over her kit to use her ult effectively to defend herself and be a good tank overall. We have Lauren, which you also need to learn couple of things to be able to master her like spacing her mic distance to attack how she can step on people continuously bait them out dunk them with her skill where to play vex where to position yourself when vex appear how to maximize vex protect all of that will take a bit of time and practice to master then we have lectures you also need to learn spacing, you need to learn the max range of her attack, how to bait the enemy into charging your ult, how to use your ult more effectively and chase the opponent continuously, how to dodge attack without falling off the map. So those are the things that put her in this tier. Next we have Molly. Now Molly is not gonna be in this tier without uh, her ult so her skill and her auto attack is very basic i would say you need little to no skill to learn and master how to use those attacks but then there's also her ult which is her best kit and her main gameplay that you need a lot of reading experience and reflex to use effectively when to counter where to counter and how to turn the game around with your counter is a lot more than just pressing a button then we have young young another interesting tank you need to learn the timing of when to drop his air attack the control of his ground rolling attacks when to use the o effectively support your team creating pressure all of that and we have dawn which is quite similar all the tanks have something that you need some practice muscle memory to get used to and master them for dawn it is the right timing to counter to old the control steering of his skill and where to stop do not get punished positioning for kaiser is more of when to throw out your punch when to throw out your skill punch when to old when to go in and tank for your teammate to turn the game around with your super armor old ability we have flare in this tier as well flare is a lot more difficult to master at first glance yes you can shoot you can charge shot and then you can oh that's pretty much it but to be able to hit the enemy consistently and to be able to keep that distance safely until you kill the opponent while also trying to support your teammate sometimes go in for the point yourself land the ult effectively all of that will make her not easy to master just by picking her up next we have briar now she is another character with a unique mechanic to put the enemy in a confused state that they will attack or be attacked by their teammate but she also 
rely a lot on her other kids to make her gameplay effective like the wheel rolling you learn how to control that you learn the exact distance of your auto attack to make it effective and then you learn when to O to get the most out of your O to support your team and to get a win with her which win now which win also the same thing she's kind of have a lot to go around with your spacing your positioning is important when to go in when to just stand outside because you have the range when to throw out your skill to get the most out of it and when to oh to turn the table of the match we have octavia she's also needs some practice to get good at not to mention to master you need to get the right timing of her attacks learn how to defend yourself when to defend yourself a lot of reading reflex and when to throw your O to heal yourself and get the best out of it by healing your teammate also we have rambert which again most of the new player game play for rambert is just spamming auto but you can hardly get a kill with just spamming auto it's just like gumi turret so for rambert you need when to go in with the skill or air skill you need to learn how to positioning yourself baiting the opponent into using your old last on this tier we have zep beta now zep beta can be very easy to master without the O. It's same thing with Molly. If she doesn't have her O, she wouldn't be in this tier just because how easy it is to land her air skill. Her crowd attacks also just wait for the right moment and just charge in. You can spam the air skill every 3 seconds, which again doesn't take any skill to know that. But then they also have her ult which is a two step flexible two option attacks which have the hammer and the fist which both can create various opportunity depending on how you use it when you use it what you decide to use it for it's even had a super armor on you can pretty much come up with all the strategy in your mind and use these weapons to your advantage moving down to the easy to master tier we have snow snow has a lot of flexibility yes that's true but we are not ranking flexibility in the character kit we're ranking how easy it is to use those kits and a snow gameplay from a very new snow player to the very pro snow player the only differences is their reflex and reaction that's it you wouldn't find anything different in the gameplay at all they would do the same thing dashing twice if they miss they should have a chance to dash out or just go in go out right away that's the only difference that's why it's not completely branded but you do get the hang of it very quick everything about snow like the timing when to use something when to not use something is very clear after you pick him up and you get used to it right away same thing with the, all the assassin here wolfgang kuranai you pick up wolfgang you stop playing him you realize exactly what you need to do and you learn that one combo with the old mind and you pretty much done you pretty much set kuranai same thing you pick him up you learn that he can do this long combo he can glide in the air he have very good recover and that's it the only difference between new player gameplay and pro gameplay on these characters is that the pro player learn how to bait you more they learn how to position themselves further more to take less risk and that's it but that doesn't mean skill that is your experience on top of the kids of these legends next we have robin which is this marshman that has so much less risk than the other marshman whenever he do something like for example when you play as robin you can jump air skill to back yourself away safely and shot your opponent even far away and then you also have your old which give you super armor instant back away 
and you still can recover from that and it's also hit multiple targets his shot are very fast his jaw shot is even stronger can even take out a whole 4k hb bar in one go so yeah very easy to master in my opinion ali is a bit different from the other ssc the reason he is easy to master is because he doesn't have a lot of tricks his gameplay will consist of throwing the zone and then decided to teleport or to just make your opponent into a crowd auto if you do decide to teleport then it's continue with another crowd auto or air skill depends on where your opponent gonna run to after getting hit and the only tricks he have nowadays is using his old go invisible you swift run behind them and get a free kills so that's all you need to know about Ali, there's no different in gameplay of a new Ali and a pro Ali. Next we have Hook. Yes, Hook has more risk than Robin when it's come to her kids, but all Hook's player will do the same thing no matter if it's a new hook player or experienced hook player or a master hook player they will all keep their distance away from you spam their shot use the O to get out of sticky situation and one shot you with the skill O pretty much the whole hook gameplay rely on that and that is not hard to master there's nothing much which is to play a bit you get the hang of it and you get a good teammate who will help you at the front line and you'll be a great hook player in no time next we have master cat now master cat does have quite a bit of combo but the reason why he's in the easy to master is because his combo are oftenly true combo he has good reach it's not hard to put up i try playing him it's so easy to pull off his combo and even without any damage enhancement equip you still get good damage out of master cat attacks and pretty much you have all of that and the fact that master cat has more option to go in than the other assassin doesn't make him more skilled to learn you literally just learn the same thing but trying to use it in a different way and that's the only difference between the new master cat and the master master cat is that they know how to bait you they know how different approach option work when to pick which approach option to go in and get you and once they get you it's the same thing all of them will try to keep comboing you to death we have wukong now wukong has been forgotten for a while until he get buffed recently and in my opinion is this a bit over to it again on his old damage now the reason why he's easy to master is because his gameplay doesn't consist of anything complex you pick up wukong you realize all you do was will be spacing trying to use your air skill when they chase you and look for the exact moment to hold in to hit as many people as possible and if they try to recover to the ground use your crown skill to swoop them up and do the same thing over again so that's pretty much it next we have ducky now ducky is a one trick legend and one trick is easy to master like i said yeah you're gonna have to get all of her defense kit the counter option and learn when to use them but that pretty much is your goal is just to try to run around and try to charge up your old as soon as possible even at top ducky player the only difference they have is they have a bit more trick to charge their old when they're in the air or when they out of the ledge of the map and they have a bit more better reflex but you can see the overall gameplay there's nothing much that changed everything about ducky kit is easy to master and we have ravi pretty much you his uh, ground skill pull an opponent in do that one combo when you in the air try to use the air skill to grab as many people as possible and combo in the air auto and then just go in the middle of the crowd to use your own to get the most out of it and that's pretty much how Ravi gameplay is it's quite limited that's why even at high level Ravi gameplay there's not much different to it next we have Pino now Pino is quite the same things you pick him up you have to learn about his attack speed his reach and then his attack option and then just old and then just go 
spamming to the opponent direction most of the time it will hit just because how big it is and that's pretty much all pino does there's no tricks to his gameplay and you can pretty much do all of that after picking pino up Teeman. Now Teeman gameplay consists of charging in and backing up and then old when you are corner. That's the same to new Teeman and master Teeman gameplay. You just learn when to go in, when to support your teammate, when to old to get the most benefit out of your old. There's a bit control on the old thing running but it's not like super precise control that would get you more benefit is just steering and running around the circle and area to defense it and we have marina which is a very fast tank and i think for marina all of her attack is kind of similar you just need to learn your spacing out of the opponent range and then dive in her Steering is actually very good. She go very fast. So there's not much to say about that. Very easy to learn. Her ult is kind of similar to Teeman ult. There's a bit of control over it. But most of the time it's not precise enough to get you more benefit. You just try to ult into the opponent direction or into a crowd to get the most out of it. Last on this tier we have Peter. Of course, Peter has always been a very starter friendly character and his overall is still very good. His gameplay between a new Peter and a master Peter, the gap is very little. Like a master Peter would optimize their attack more to the ground skill and maybe use something more, a bit more flashy like the air ult in such a situation but everything else stay the same they're not much to master other than what i just mentioned last but not least we have the no skill tier first on this list of course we have the newest character wuchi now wuchi gameplay between a new wuchi player and a very top wuchi player is exactly the same their last two brand cell will tell them to skill you in whenever they can because they have super armor and when they activate O, it will be a free ko at first glance you might think wuji combo might be complex might be difficult to pull off but as soon as you pick her up you will realize it's way easier than you expected even i can pull it up especially her ground skill which give her a free hit confirmed to a true combo and teleport without getting punished with one breast of a button same thing with her air skill super knockback into a true combo deal massive damage with one breast of a button with less risk than most assassin because he have super armor if you didn't know she have two on her air skill and two on her old one for activation and the other one for the actual old which make four super armor in total for an assassin which is insane next of course we have Javer. now if wuxi wasn't a thing Javer would still be that one character that everyone abuse until this day why because he has so less risk compared to any other assassin even less risk than wuxi herself because he has a range attack Yes, an assassin with a range attack that's guarantee hit into a true combo, into a kill combo. You didn't hear me wrong, and even I can pull it up. Now all the chopper men going around trying to throw these combo out, making it look flashy and complex. No, it's not. You're literally going to get this combo with three tries in practice mode, which I did, and you realize that this character requires no skill at all. Moving on, we have Jacko. Now, Jacko has been nerfed a bit, I guess, but the nerf doesn't affect his ability to do an unlimited combo with his old until he kill you. And a Jacko that is completely new compared to a Jacko that's very experienced, they do the same thing. Maybe the experienced one is more patient, but that doesn't mean it takes more skill. They both go for the same thing to approach in, throw their own, and 
when they are closing they just jump spam air auto until they bomb you they throw another ult into that one combo that will kill you now you might agree that jackal combo is not easy as wuchi combo and jobbert combo well yeah it's not entirely true like the other two brand rod as a scene but at close range it's a guarantee hit and you can hit multiple players at once with it we're comparing the gameplay of these characters when they are master and when they are new no difference no skill um i don't know what else to say swan has one move on every button you press on this character the only thing you need to worry when using swan is the timing and baiting your opponent and that's the entire tier list let me know if you have any different thoughts on this does your legend tech skill tier list feel free to explain to me why you think certain character should be in a different tier because i myself is not the best when it's come to understanding every other characters in the game so do let me know if you have a different opinion on any of the characters 